Hi, it's Corrine, and today I wanted to share an album that I just completed. I used the Simple Stories Harvest Lane collection. Love, love, love that collection. I had so much fun making this mini album. Although it's, um, is it, I believe it's an 8x8. A little bit bigger than an 8x8. Yeah, it's approximately an 8x8 album. And I first painted all the edges with Making Memories sweet potato. I have a start to finish video on this that I'm going to upload separately since it's such a long video. I know some people prefer start to finish and some people would rather just see the book. So I did both. Um, so I will upload that as well. I used an album, a chipboard album that I got at, on base actually. My brother-in-law is um, in the military so we went to the base and I got this album for like three, four dollars, I believe, and it's called a tabbed album. So um, I challenged myself um, to try not to use too many outside embellishments outside of the paper collection that I got, which is unusual for me because I always add lots of flowers and rhinestones and other things. So this was just so much fun to make. So here it says Fall, Home Sweet Home. This I cut out from the paper collection. These are chipboard stickers that came in the paper collection. And then I just used a heart punch that I have, a button here. And the ribbon, um, this ribbon here is Stampin' Up. And this I believe I just got from Michaels a while ago. I bound it with binder rings. They're the only ones, and they actually went really well with the album luckily. But they're the only ones that I have that were this size. I believe they're a three inch binder ring. So they worked out perfect. Otherwise I think the book, I don't know how I would have found it. Um, but I'm glad I had these in my stash. So that worked out well. So here's the first page. I used a fabric brad here. A little uh, prima flower here with the brad. Same with here. And then these are all from the sticker collection. And I did a four and a half by six and a half size mat on each page. Left everything open to slide pictures under. This is from the sticker collection. I also got the six by six paper, so some things I cut out, like these two things here, were cut out from the six by six. Here's a little tag that came in the collection. So I added some hemp and a button. There's the back of it. I plan on adding pictures to all of these. I have I have all the pictures already printed out, so it's just a matter of putting them in. Here's a um, transparency with the paper. And then again, some paper and some brads. Here are Prima Flower. These are stuck up on pop dots just to make them look like they're tucked behind there. The first thing I did um, is put down the mats, so I had to, some of them, I tried not to press them down too hard, but some of them I had to peel back to tuck things behind and try to make it look like they were tucked behind. Again, all from the paper collection. This is a Prima um, packaging left open. Everything pictures can fit behind. Here's another little tag, a bingo card, a little tag that I added some ribbon to, and some stickers from the collection. I just love this collection. Here's another one. Again, pictures can be put behind everything. This one, I remember I did um, the glue, I used hot glue, I believe. Yeah, because I put chipboard under it. I used hot glue, and the hot glue kind of went a little bit further, so whatever picture I put behind here, I'm going to have to notch out just a little bit in order for it to fit under there. This is some burlap, a button. Another little bingo card, a button, 
I stapled some hearts on there. This is from the sticker collection. This is from the 6x6 pad and a little heart button there. I just love the colors of this paper. I love that it's they're all a little bit muted. And this is open. There's another little tag here from their paper collection. Lots of room for journaling, um, journaling pictures. Here's one of the bingo cards, some stickers. I added a little bit of ribbon here. Um, these flowers, these were, I believe, recollection flowers that I've had for quite a while, so I was happy to use those up. Some more of the paper that I cut out, some buttons. This is from their stickers. I added some half circles there to make it look like scallops. And then this is some more of the um, Stampin' Up! ribbon with the doily. These I got from the doilies I got from Frog Feathers quite a while ago. Another little tag that I stapled some ribbon on. Another transparency I put a button on. These um, I'll probably leave like this and just add pictures on the back. I just love the transparency so much. This um, is from the sticker collection. I added some brads. This is the other half of that bingo card that I used on the other page. Some stickers from the collection. Little tab, metal tab. Another one of those doily flowers, a button, a little doily back here. Some hearts. This is a, one of the um, clay roses that I that I made from a mold. This I used a Sizzix, an old Sizzix die to cut these two larger hearts out. And then this is from my little EK Success Punch. And then, oh, I see this got bent up a little. This is a little ta uh, pocket that I made. I put a doily with one of the hearts from the paper collection with just a journaling spot. It has a uh, November stamped on there. So I figured that's perfect for a picture on the back, journaling. A little button on front. And then here's the last page. I put a um, paper clip, an epoxy paper clip, some ribbon, some more of the paper stickers from the collection. This is um, a little pocket here that I can stick a picture behind or a few pictures behind it and the back of the book. So I hope you liked it. Like I said, I had so much fun making it. And I do have a start to finish video that I will be putting up after this. So if you like watching the start to videos, it is a little bit longer. Um, but there's a picture show at the end of that as well. So thanks so much for watching and always leaving such nice comments. I really appreciate it. And uh, have a great day. Thanks.